trending news. This is wickedness of the highest order. See 70 years old man raped eight years old twice and claiming that he loves her. In accordance to report, it was revealed that a 70 years old papa identified as Muhammad Sani Uma, aka Sela, was said to have defied a little girl identified as Amini Muhammad on about of about eight years of age in Sha, in Shanshaga area of Mina State, Niger State. The suspected Muhammad Sani went further to see that he had canal knowledge of the little girl two times because of the love he had for her. He admitted this very act before a magistrate court. According to the mother of the victim, she was sick for some weeks and after every treatment, she was still not very well. Then, a neighbor advised her mother to keep a close watch on the girl, which the mother started doing. About after some days, she saw some stains on her underwear and asked her what happened to her. The little girl took the mother to its place and on reaching there, she just pointed at the man. On sighting the woman and the girl, he started begging them to cover it up so that he will not so, so he that he will take responsibility of everything that happens. Abu Baka, the girl's uncle, narrated the mother to the little girl noticed the strange behavior of her little daughter, which prompted her to question her before she openly exposed the man who defied her. This led to the arrest of the suspected man, as stated earlier. The magistrate, following the request of the prosecution, adjourned the case until July 23, 2020, and ordered the suspect to be detained at the Minan New Prison. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. Hmm. I don't know what some men. I don't know what. I don't know. Before you know it, they will tell you that it was devil that used them. It was the, the, the devil's handwork. Is it normal for you to see a little girl and rape her? A girl that is not even up to uh, that, that that is even that is up to your your the grandchild. It's your great great grandchild says, raping her, claiming that you love her. Is that not madness? This madman committed a grave crime and still have the God to say that he loved the little girl. Imagine the little girl who is uh, young enough to be his great uh, grandchild. What a senseless idiot. This man is so stupid. He's a foolish person. He's a foolish man to have said such a thing. He thought that if he confessed that he loved the, this little girl, he will be released or they will pardon him. That is not it. Love or no love, he should be arrested and be detained forever. Because with what he has done, he called this child abuse. Seeing a little girl, if this lady is, uh, is, is up to uh, a teenager, he would have said, okay, she knows what she's doing. She accepted the man. But this little girl does not know her left from her right ears. Eight years old girl, a 70 year old man raping her. Is this not wickedness? There's no time to waste. With this, with this stupid and devilish man. Let his private part be hanged with his body as well. He deserves to be killed. He deserves to be killed. This our nation Nigeria needs collective prayers. Both Muslim and Christians. They should stand firm spiritually to pray 
and conquered this abomination that is going on in Nigeria. We may be saying that it's them, it happens. You may be saying that it's them, it happens to we that are not the victim. Are we secured? Remember that you have nephews that comes to the house for visits. You have neighbors, neighbor's son that comes to say hello to you. You have male children. And you, you have male children to take care of, to, to, to take care of, to prevent from all these um, devilish acts. And you that are not uh, your blood, and also your blood as well, we should pray that the devil that possess others to rape others will not enter uh, our our domain. Will not enter our domain than to to do such to our children. For a father to rape a daughter, isn't that ridiculous? Uncle to his aunt's daughters, pastors and afar to little children underaged, mother and son. Do you think that all these are normal in our land? It's not normal. What should we call this? So we need Nigerians need serious prayers to conquer all these um all these evil acts in Nigeria. Yes, please. It is time to uh, violate or come together in prayers. I pray that we shall not be victims of any of these things. We shall not be victims of any of these in the name of Jesus. The name that is above every other name. This is something that we should look into immediately before it gets out of hand. It should be looked to immediately before it gets out of hand. Imagine, how can this old papa claim he love uh, 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 over, uh, claim he loved this girl over the evil he committed? Imagine. Hmm. Lord, we need your guidance on or over our children from every evil man. This is so, so pathetic. The man should never be granted bail. He should be arrested forever. He should be arrested and detained because he deserves to do to, to be to be persecuted and be jailed. Even not even sent, sent, uh, sent, sentencing him to life imprisonment. He should be sent. Uh, he should, sorry, not. Um, Sentencing him to years in prison, imprisonment. He should be sentenced to life in prison by hanging. This is what this man deserves. He deserves to be hanged to death. Because with what he has done, I think that he needs to be hanged. Because if they refuse to hang him to death, people that are still coming up or people that are people that has this kind of heart will continue to commit this crime. They will believe they will, they will believe that oh they will not even if they arrest he's been arrested they will still release him. But if this man is being sentenced to the uh, life imprisonment by hanging then the rest people out there the men the older men out there that uh, do or that that uh, rapes little child, little children, will also learn their lesson. Will also uh, also uh, put their mouth inside their trousers. They will also learn their lesson and uh, make sure that this never happens. Never happens to them. So they will be scared. To do such an evil, evil act. That is all the government needs to do. 
as they have arrested this man, they should not even grant him bail because what he has done is so, so wicked and devilish. So viewers, what is your take on this news? Your comments concerning this news is very important. Drop them below the comment box, click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish new videos. Thank you.